Hello there, Clive Jeffrey here from clivejeffrey.com, coming to you again today from my home office in St. Augustine, Florida. And I have a question for you. Are you being that weird MLM guy or girl? Hang around and I'll tell you what I mean. Now I'm sure um, if you're like me, when you first started out in your new MLM or network marketing business opportunity, you were really excited about it and your upline was telling you, now go out and tell your warm market and all your friends and family. And, and so you went about it and just started throwing up all the information all over them and quite naturally you felt the rejection and the heckles uh, standing up on the back of their necks and um, they all started retreating at a very fast pace. And this is not surprising and um, a good way to think about it is if you started a normal offline business, say for example a pizza shop, now I'm sure you'd be just as excited about doing that and you would want to tell your friends and family about it and as you should. But if you went about it the same way that people approach a network marketing business and expected everyone else to want to start up a pizza shop and just eat pizza every night, now people are going to think you're crazy and weird and rightly so. So why do you do that with your MLM opportunity? You know, you should have the exact same approach as, as a normal brick and mortar business type opportunity. So, you know, try something like this. Say, uh, when you're approaching a friend, say, hey Bob, you know, i am just started a new home business. I'm really excited about it. Um, it's probably not for you. But I know people love the product, so would you mind just taking a look at it for me and giving me your feedback? Now, chances are Bob's going to say yes, no problem at all, because you've given him an escape hatch by saying, you know, it's probably not for you, and he's not feeling threatened, and because you've got an association there, he's going to have a look at your products and give you some honest feedback. Now, if by chance Bob's not interested in your products, then be fine with that and accept his decision and just move on. It's just the same way as if you're in a restaurant and a waitress comes and asks you if you want to see the dessert menu and you say no, that she doesn't run off crying and getting all offended because you didn't want to have a look at the dessert menu. There's no difference in this when you're talking to people about the products that you're selling. So don't be that weird person. You know, your family and friends, you think that they are calling you crazy for getting into an MLM business, but are they not calling you crazy because you acted all weird and crazy after you got into the business? So there's something to think about. Now hopefully you've got some value from this. If you have, um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and also come and visit me daily on my blog clivejeffrey.com as I provide new training there almost daily. And thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.